Hi, this is James Gordon Rotorla here with a book review today. Book review today. Drowning: The Rescue of Flight 1421 by T.J. Newman. And one quick thing I want to show: the inner artwork is I really like this. This is really cool. Anyway, this is from Avid Reader Press. And this is from. And this was published in May 2023. This is the first novel I read by this new author, and this was a real blast to read. I really enjoyed it. I like me a good disaster thriller novel, and this one is very well written. Right, like on page one, the action just kicks in right away. It doesn't waste any time. It just gets right down to it, and it's uh, very quick pacing uh, in uh, in, at, in the first act of the novel. It, 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 but it's not like this all the way. Like it, it, there, it, there's moments where it, it, the pacing slows down just a little bit, and then it gets right back to the um, the um, fast um, uh, the fast pacing of, of the story. And this thing was just a, I, I had a lot of fun reading this. Like I decided I, I should get I should get some uh, newer book reviews on the channel because uh, I do have some newer novels that I need to read, and I decided to start with this one. And Within the first few pages, I'm already hooked on this novel. Like, the whole beginning part, I was instantly just drawn to the story, and I was just reading more of it until I reached the 100-page mark uh, uh, when I was reading this. And I thought, damn, this is a good novel. So I just read more of it, and I, I was becoming, like, really hooked uh, by it. And I, I really like the story, the setting. Uh, there are some there are characters I liked, and there are a few characters I, I didn't like with, uh, with, one, uh, with one character, especially I really hated. But overall, I just really enjoyed this book, and after reading this book, I went ahead and got the author's other two novels. Uh, she wrote uh, her first one and a new one, which I plan on reading soon, as it sounds like a lot of fun. And overall, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, the, there were some things I, I didn't like with it, but uh, overall, I highly enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else this new author can write, because she's a really good writer. And I look forward to reading her other books as well. Alright, on to the book review. Plot. Engineer Will Kent and his 11-year-old daughter, Shannon, are flying to San Francisco for a two-week trip after Lee Hall Luna when suddenly the Airbus A A321 left engine explodes. Pieces are breaking off it as Captain Miller, along with First Officer Kit Callahan and Gaholo, are fighting for control, but their plane is losing hydraulic fluid as the Airbus A321 is becoming more difficult to control. Unable to return the plane back to the airport, Captain Miller declares a May Day and is going to ditch the plane in the water. As the Lev engine continues to break apart, causing people to panic with one man in a blue polo shirt gets up from his seat as a sudden jolt causes him his head off the ceiling as he slowly gets back up with his head bleeding. Flight attendant Molly is trying to keep all the passengers seated while giving them instructions as fl flight 1421 is about to ditch in the water. As the plane crashes into the water, it bounces off causing some people to hit the ceiling or smack their heads off the chairs. Hitting the water a second time causes a hard bounce with more parts breaking off the Airbus. When it finally stops, people begin leaving their seats and are rushing towards the exit doors. Will is knocked out and awakens when he suddenly feels water under his feet. When the flight attendants are able to get the doors open, however, everyone is pushing their way to get out, which causes a stall. Then the left engine suddenly explodes, causing shrapnel to be sent into the air, which kills one person. Will then sees the flames are spreading across the sea as if they jump into the water, they'll burn to death. Captain Miller is killed during the impact as First Officer Kit and Koholo quickly leave the cockpit and try to get the remaining passengers out of the plane, but Will stops them and tells them if they jump out now, they'll burn in the sea and the wind will spread the fire onto the other side of the plane. Their best chance of survival is to stay inside. Against orders, Kit orders the door to be closed despite the anger of some of the passengers. When the plane begins sinking at the bottom of the sea, with rushing water suddenly coming in through a cracked window in the cockpit. Kit and Will are able to get it closed in time and move towards the back. Molly does the head count as there's only three crew members left and 12 passengers, as everyone else was killed when they attempted to escape the plane. Molly activates an emergency locator transmitter so Coast Guard will be able to rescue them. The emergency lights kick in as Flight 1421 is now resting at the bottom of the sea. It isn't long until Ghost Guard shows up and begins rescuing a few of the passengers that managed to escape the sinking plane. However, as one passenger, Ed, is raised into a helicopter, he tells the crew member that there's people still alive inside the plane as it's underwater. 
Meanwhile, uh, Will's wife, Chris Kent, a industrial diver, is getting ready to start her shift with Noah when she's alerted to flight 1421's ditching in the water as her face drains of blood, fearing for her husband and daughter. The divers are called in by Fritz leading the rescue team, but he is unsure how to get the people out of the plane safely as he believes it's too risky. Chris refuses to wait and demands to get to the sunken plane. However, they only have a trading sub with a broken pump. Chris, along with the other members of rescue crew, plan to fix the sub and look at the plane's blueprints to find a way to save the crew and passengers on board the sunken plane. As the passengers are able to make contact with the outside world and inform them what's happening inside the sunken plane with those planning how to rescue them, however, Chris believes the Coast Guard's idea is, is risky and is trying to convince others to do her do it her way despite facing criticism. Tension is running high on both sides with the clock ticking and facing one problem after the other along with the media covering this event as one mistake could lead to the death of everyone trapped inside that plane. When the first rescue attempt fails, Chris gets her plan to action as there's no time to waste as Will and Chris are working together to save everyone as one mistake and everyone is going to dr drown in that plane. Who will make out alive as not only the passengers are running out of oxygen, they also have to deal with where the, they crash landed as well. Drowning was a gripping edge of see thriller, fast paced action that kicks off on page one till the very end of this novel, detailed with a large cast of characters to fall within this story. While reading this story, I could feel how intense it was with the passengers trapped inside this sunken plane trying to keep themselves alive while others were doing everything they could to rescue them from above, with both sides facing their own problems and working against the clock to pull off the most daring and, and impossible rescue mission ever. While detailed, however, I felt was focused more on some parts better than others within the pages, as I felt giving more rich detail would have made it better along with longer scenes, as I felt some of the pages were too short at times. There were characters I liked within this novel, and one I especially hated and was happy to see this one character get was coming to him as it's revealed to be a total jerk at the end of the novel which made me ha happy and laugh. But I felt character detail could have been better with some not getting much description than others and lastly I like the whole setting of the novel with the plane sucking underwater off the coast of Honolulu. Overall I highly enjoyed Drowning as it was a highly entertaining novel that kept me on the edge of my seat. I enjoyed reading every page of it till I reached the end. If you like reading disaster thriller novels, then check out Drowning. It's a good fast-paced thriller that will keep you on the edge of your seat while trying to hold your breath, too. All right, that's the review today. I hope you enjoyed Yeah, I had a real blast with Drowning. It was just a lot of fun to read this book. Uh, I, as I said, I like a good disaster thriller, and this is a, a, a excellent one. Now, before I even read this novel, um, I remember when this offer came out, and, and there was people that were either either they liked the offer or didn't like it. And then when the second book came out, I heard some complaints about it. Some people were criticizing, "Oh, it's similar to this um, like airport series where this uh, I think it's the third film where a, a, a terrorist hijack a plane and they deliberately crash under the water or something, which is a, a much larger plane, but." I was watching some clips of that, and the the plane is like perfectly like fine. It's not even broken apart. It, it it's like it's just it's just it's landed perfectly in the water and it's resting at the bottom of the sea. I this is co the complete polar opposite. When this thing hit, hits the water, it's breaking apart, so it doesn't land smoothly or softly or anything like that. It this thing is literally breaking apart the moment it hits the water and stuff, and so. I feel that some people are being a little too harsh with the reviews. Like they need to uh, not like uh, that's one thing I, 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 that annoys me with with uh, as a person who, who like you know watches movies and, and reads books and stuff. I feel sometimes re um, critics uh, are too hard on their reviews and they deliberately reference other stuff to try to make it sound like oh this offer just copied off this idea. Like it can have a, a similar premise, but the whole story can be completely different. So that's one thing you need to do as a, as a reader uh, and, a, and, a, and a viewer. Take it as something different. Don't compare it to something else. But I, but, but as, as, as but in my personal opinion, uh, you can't let others judge for you. You have to watch it or read it uh, or listen to it to see for yourself what you think of it as, as other people's reviews are different than yours. So anyway... I really enjoyed this book. I really like the the fa uh, fact where it, it gets off to page well, page one. It just it just gets right to the action. As I wasn't sure how the opening was going to be like, but page one it just it just gets right to the action where an engine suddenly ex explodes and 
the the plane is like losing altitude altitude very quickly. People are freaking out as it gets uh, closer and closer to the sea. The captain makes a decision to cr crash land in the sea uh, as he's unable to turn back to the airport. And the whole time, I was instantly hooked on this novel. It's like, damn, this is really good. And I just kept re reading more and more pages as I was really uh, getting into the story and stuff. The one thing I was like, the story does follow a lot of characters within the story, but I, I but I felt some of them were described better than others. Like some, uh, like the author I felt focused a lot of detail on them, and others like very few. So that was the one thing I wish that um, Newman did in the story was uh, give um, more of the characters uh, more rich details, so we can have like a like a better description of what the what these characters are and like. Because some I felt she focused more on others, as there's some characters that are mentioned, but she gives like very little detail on them and. That's about it. I just wish she went more detailed in that, along with like, um, like the description of what the characters are, are kind of doing and what's going on. Because there are times of in the story, and I can visualize my mind what's going. on, But there are other times where she's very brief with detail, and I don't know much what's going, uh, what's what's happening, or um, when a character suddenly appears, I'm like, wait, where did this character come from? So that's my only, um, um. Uh, um, issue with the book, it was that. But other than that, I, I I still enjoyed it. Like, there's definitely some some pros with this book. It, the the writing structure is good. Um, the the pacing I felt was excellent, and the character dialogue I I, I felt was you know it was there, there were some moments where it had some really good dialogue, and there was uh, times where I felt it could have been better. But overall, I it was a highly entertaining book that I really enjoyed. Uh, there are characters I liked in this book, and there is the one character I really despise in this one in this uh, novel. Andy, whose name was, he was just this total asshole throughout the entire book. And I was just like reading this book, I thought, was someone please tell him off, or just like shut him up? Like I'm getting tired of this character. Like he was just a total jerk throughout the entire novel, and f like finally, there's a part in the book where the main character just like had enough of his shit, and they get into this like this uh, short fight, and I was like, finally! And of course, another person tells him off, and that kind of shuts him up for a bit. Uh, but the character finally gets what he deserves at the very end of the book, and I was very satisfied, and then the ending kind of revealed um, something about the character that nobody knew about, and I was like, oh, I'm glad this character is dead. <laughs> so I was really happy with that. Um, what else? Oh, um... I liked how the story would focus on like the two the two, the two characters Will and his wife Chris as they were like trying to figure out how to get off this plane stuff and the and the struggles they're going through. So I really enjoyed that and the tension between the two sides, like you know trying to come up with a plan and trying to get convince people to do it their way versus the other person wants to do it their way. And <clears throat> so I overall I, I really enjoyed this book and it's nice to see like something new and different. Um, uh, uh, it, that's what, what I enjoy. That's why I really enjoyed reading uh, with these books. Like, see something new and different instead of seeing something that's already been done before. I really like when authors uh, do something new and fresh, uh, which is more interesting to read than seeing someone trying the, the, the same concept over and over again that's already been done before. But as I said, I, after reading this book, I went ahead and got the other two books by this author, Falling, and her newest one, Worst Case Scenario, which I plan on re reading that one. Because that one sounds like a lot of fun. I thought I need to get some more um, uh, newer books on the channel, and it's always fun to read a good disaster thriller novel. As I got other ones, I got to read on the channel too. But uh, I'm uh, I, overall, I highly recommend Drowning. It's an excellent thriller. If you want something that's different and fast paced, then I highly recommend this book. As I look forward to reading uh, T.G. Newman's other novels and see what else she uh, publishes as well. All right, that's it for the view today. Hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to subscribe to Octar Library, the YouTube channel, and the Facebook group of the same name. Please post review of fiction. Until then, I'll catch you later.